day we'll be reconditioning a Pittsburgh two-ton trolley jack that is not lifting fully. Jack is also, we'll refill it with some new jack oil. We'll replace the o-ring with a P8 7.8 millimeter o-ring. Link in the description below for the jack, o-ring, lube, and tools used. It will pump, but it won't lift very high. It'll take many pumps to raise there's not a lot of oil left. We'll remove this top piece. There are two cotter pins removed before sliding the pins out to the right. We'll loosen this nut to have more room to remove both cotter pins. And we'll replace the O-ring in the main cylinder here. And then we will refill the main piston. Move the top by pushing this, pulling. That exposes a port to refill the jack. For easier removal of these two pieces, be sure to use the channel locks. The channel locks on this nut so that we can separate the right side. Also need to remove this, pull out. And you get the hand loosen. Next, with these pins, use a needle nose. You can just grip them and pull. And they'll snap off. So here's one. second and there we have removed all three nuts and washers now I'll take the entire piece off so that way we can easily slip the two pins out one here and this now comes directly off this is the piece then we'll have the o-ring to replace this piece and pull it straight up That O-ring is a P8, but it's the most likely cause of leakage. So we'll replace it with another P8. There, cut the O-ring off. So now we've gotten under it. Cut it off, cut. And we'll clean the inner surface. Here's the old O-ring. So we'll select a P8, 7.8 by 1.9. So we've added a little oil. You just roll it on. Popped in. Profile. The O-ring is not as flat, so it's going to make a better seal. You could pop it back in. Let's push it down. Straight. So now it's in. They took a little bit of effort to push in. So now it's harder to pull this out, but it, there's nothing leaking out as I'm coming up and down. I'm just going to get under it. So that's this little piece. This is the cap. We'll take our jack oil. Link in the description below and fill it until we can see the entire cylinder is full. Just get a better angle of attack. And reassemble the jack just as we disassembled it. This guy back on with its two pins. Pin one, then pin number two comes through here. To guide this straight part through and clips right into place. Pop. So I recommend laying the jack on its side. So, spacer, wheel, washer, nut. Need to reinstall a snap ring. In this groove snap ring, and we'll put that over here with snap ring pliers. Our channel locks, just tighten everything hand tight. With the hooks on here, install this top piece. It's just a protective piece. Handle, you could just stretch fit on and snap. Snap it right down. There we go. All right. Leave the relief valve wide open and pump 20 times to get the air out. Close that, we get much better performance than we did before. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.